Hello everybody and welcome to another great episode of Hillbilly Select Reviews and today I'm going to try and discover something that's been I can't find the answer to this. I did a review a while back on Manischewitz, all right? Concord grape. There it is. And I thought, you know, I mean, it was a nice review and this and that and everything. And then, forget what I thought. Then I was at the store and I saw this. Now remember, this Concord grape is made with what? Concord grapes. Okay, fine. I saw this. All right. Um, let me get it focused in for you. All right. Manischewitz Cream Red Concord. Well, what is the difference between these two? I mean, here's the bottle, right? Make sure I don't know how we can see, right? This one's kind of rounded. This one's a little square, all right? There it is. Both by Manischewitz, all right? But one says Manischewitz Concord Grape, and the other says Manischewitz Cream Red Concord. Concord. Um, at least 51% Concord grape in the ingredient of this one. And this one uh, says at least 51% Concord grape. And when you have certain grapes of um, certain, uh, this is I think Vinifera Lambrusca or Lambrusca Vinifera, this type of American uh, grape, um, has to be at, one, at least 51%. Uh, of it to make up that varietal. If there's 51, it could be 100%, but it can't be 50. It has to be at least 51, and then you can call it Concord or Catawba or whatever grape from this uh, particular um, uh, species of grape is. Now, with uh, California and, and, and Vinifera, this is Vinifera Lambrusca, Vinifera, um, oh, can't think of the name, but anyway, the, the noble grapes, it has to be in America, 75% of the grape has to be, like to be called a Cabernet Sauvignon. It has to be 75, could be 100, but it can't be 74%. This has to be 51%. Um, Chianti, a grape has to be, uh, I think, 80% San So everybody has their different rules in that. My point is, these are both saying they're at least 51% uh, as per the law, the rule. Um, they're both 11% ABV, um, both from the same company, same grape. Um, I'm trying, now here's a clue, okay? On the cream red Concord, it says a specifically, or I'm sorry, a specially sweetened cream smooth double blended varietal grape wine. Okay. I tried to look up this answer, by the way, and I could not find it. So, I, as far as I know, I'm the first one going to try and discover what the difference is, at least in taste. Um, now, this tells me what? The only thing I can think of, it says double blended, um, is that when they make this, at least 51%, maybe they blend it with some juice or something else, and they do the same thing with the cream out they do with the Concord grape. But I'm thinking since it says double blend it and it says specially sweetened and to make it feel creamier on your mouth, and this is a guess, I'm assuming that the second blending is with sugar or a sugar wine, something with extra sugar in it. So I'm going to see if I can detect anything. Uh, this wine is, has a cool history to it. Um, it's made in New York now. It originally started out in Cincinnati as a, a food company, a kosher food company. Um, and there's a history. I did, I did a review on it before, and I kind of go into the history a little more. I don't want to bore you with that too much now. Um, but it, it's got a cool history. It's very popular. Uh, you can serve it over ice. I suggest you do it cold. This is very cold um, because really it's so sweet that if you do it cold, it, it'd still be sweet, but it kind of tampers that down a little bit. Uh, used in a lot of Jewish uh, holidays. Now, if it, it has to say uh, kosher, and some of it isn't kosher. And when it says kosher, the same wine, it just means that uh, it's it has um, <coughs> excuse me, it has uh, like sugar uh, sugar cane instead of corn syrup, and it follows the rules. If you want to look up what the rules uh, for something to be kosher, kosher are, 
uh, but just if you're using it for Passover, some type of uh, a Jewish holiday, just make sure the bottle uh, says kosher. I'm going to show you right here where that is. Um, so right there, it says kosher. All right. Um, so let's get into it. All right. I'm going to use my uh, for this wine. Now this wine goes for um, let me see uh, five dollars and ninety nine cents. So I took out the Lennox. All right. With a 24 gar uh, carat gold rim. Screw cap. All right, got the nice, there it is. Just unscrewed it nice. All right, I'm gonna pour it. This is the Manischewitz Concord Grape in the square bottle. And now we will take the Manischewitz Cream in the rounded bottle. We will unscrew it and we will pour it. And we will see if there is a difference in the color. I do not see a difference in the color. We will see if there is a difference in the smell. Cream. The regular. There is a difference in the smell. So now I have to analyze what that difference is. Okay. I don't know if you've ever had Concord grape is what they make Welsh's jelly out of. All right, Welsh's jelly, and when you eat it, I used to grow those grapes off the uh, vine. I mean, it tastes just like that jelly, and the wine usually tastes just like the grapes. It's it's pretty weird. There's, there's not much that that influences that. This, the one that just the regular Manischewitz, I'll call it the regular Manischewitz. It's not the cream, the, the regular. Smells like the Concord grape. Smells like the jelly. The cream smells like cotton candy and grape jelly, grape jelly cotton candy. I don't think they make a grape, grape cotton candy, they make a grape cotton candy. Um, smells like cotton candy, that, that sugar sweet cotton candy with a great flavor and this smells more like the Concord grape with a little bit of cotton candy too but not as much I would say that the regular is grape and cotton candy and the uh, Concord and the um, cream ale is cotton candy grape okay first ingredient cotton candy so anyway let's taste I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the the uh, Concord grape or excuse me I'm confusing myself I'm gonna try the cream Wow, that is sweet. Um, real, real, real sweet. If you don't like wine, you'll like this. If you don't like sugar, you'll hate this. This is sweet. Um, wow. Uh, it just tastes like melted sugar. Um, uh, boil uh, water and put sugar in it until it is saturated and then add a few drops of grape flavoring or grape wine. If you love soda and you don't want to drink soda, you want to drink wine for some reason, this will take the place of the soda. Alright, now I'm going to try the regular, what I call the regular. Normally I would think it's sweet, but compared to the other one, uh, it's sweet, but at least it has some semblance of wine, of the Concord uh, grape juice or grape jelly uh, is what it tastes like. Uh, basically, basically it's, it's alcoholic. Um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's Welch's grape juice with, that's been fermented with some alcohol. The other one is basically, it basically sugar 
Um, let me see if there's a difference in the in the taste uh, on the feel, like cream. Is one creamier or thicker? Cream's pretty thick. Just going by mouth feel now. You know, there's a difference. Difference between, I would say, um, not water, two percent milk, and and whole milk, where it's creamier. So, it, because of it, I, I think the only difference is sugar, and there's a lot of sugar in there. So. They have just uh, made the wines, and then they took one and blended in uh, a lot of sugar. Either more wine with sugar in it, or plain uh, liquid sugar. I, I don't know uh, how they introduced the sugar, but that's obviously what it is. So if you love sweet stuff, or you're going to do a holiday, and everybody's going to be tasting this wine, and you're not, you know, because if I, I, I love wine, but and of course I could drink this, but if you hate wine, of course, you're going to be able to drink this. So, if you're not sure, you know, if anybody likes wine, uh, and and for some reason you have to drink it, I could see where kids would 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 destroy this, uh, because it's it's basically it's uh, it's soda. Uh, you cannot taste any alcohol whatsoever. So there's a difference. I was actually pretty curious and wanting to know. I actually did a lot of research. Couldn't find anything. Couldn't find any other reviews. So there it is. I gave you the review between the Manischewitz Cream Red Concord and the Manischewitz Concord Grape. All right, everybody? Hope you enjoyed it. I actually did. I, I really enjoyed that. All right, cheers, everybody.